Hey guys, Brohean here from the Gamers Emporium channel bringing you another Black Ops 3 The Giant Zombies Map tutorial. So this one is going to be all about the Annihilator Pistol. It's the same pistol that you get as the special weapon in multiplayer and it's it pretty much rocks the socks off of any zombie that you shoot. It's a one hit, one kill thing. So let's jump right into it here. Run up to the Pack-a-Punch. You must have a Pack-a-Punch weapon for this. Preferably a sniper because it's easier to see the things that you have to shoot at the distance they're at. So I happen to pack the SVG. Once you have the weapon of your choice, pack a punch, you're going to take a stroll down this alleyway here. And you remember this window by the chain link fence? Yeah, you're going to look right through that. And it took me a minute here to figure out exactly what you had to shoot. It's that little box that's on that pillar there to the left of my reticle and people were calling it a bucket it's not it doesn't look like a bucket to me it looks like a like a box but i shot it and nothing happened and um, i guess this is key here so i kind of looked around shot a couple other things thinking that i shot the wrong thing but you actually have to get really really precise and get your your reticle right on the button on there and once you shoot that button you're gonna see uh, you know with teddy bears and knives or whatever else is in that just spiral up to the top and you're gonna hear the, the doctor talking some nonsense in the background too so as long as you see that and you hear the doctor you know you've done the first part right now once you've completed step number one in shooting things outside the map you're just gonna turn around and run into uh, the closest teleporter room to you and inside this little furnace if you look really carefully I know it's dark but there's actually a stuffed monkey hanging inside there you just want to take that pack-a-punch weapon and also shoot that thing. It'll disappear and you'll hear the mad doctor talk again in the background and then you can move on to position number three. The third part of this is fairly simple. I uh, want to renege about the, uh, the sniper rifle I chose to pack about being the best thing for this part because uh, once you go into the first teleporter room above the furnace, he's in the vat that's on the left. You know, I jump there and you can see the teddy bear inside. Well, you need to take that packed weapon and shoot it i got really lucky on my first shot there with it it actually penetrated through the vat and hit the bear and i took a second shot because i thought i didn't hit it but uh i, I did hit it and anything else but a sniper rifle will be a lot easier for you to hit that so hit that one you'll hear the mad doctor talk again and then continue down to the room where you turn on the power once you're right next to the power switch if you look up past the power box and up onto the fire escapes, you're going to see a teddy bear right in the corner of the very top. The mad doctor will speak yet again and tell you that whatever whatever the thing you don't know that is the annihilator pistol yet is complete and the beacon is lit. From there, you want to run back into the furnace room and actually look into the furnace and then you're going to see the annihilator pistol there. So a couple quick things about the Annihilator Pistol is that you hold square to pick it up. Once you pick it up, it becomes a quote-unquote special weapon of sorts. Kind of like when you activate your special ability in multiplayer, you'll pull out the Annihilator Pistol and it has a recharge bar. So it comes with 18 shots. You can't reload it. If you switch weapons while you're using it, it goes away until it's recharged. So use up the ammo. This is a one-shot, one-kill on any zombie, no matter where you hit it. Sometimes it penetrates. It does a little bit of a small radial explosion where it'll kill zombies next to the one that you initially shot. And once you put it away, you recharge it by earning zombie kills. So that's really all you need to know. It's definitely good if you're trying to save ammo and you have that thing charged up, or if you're in a little bit of a crisis and need to get out quick, you can just blow through zombies with this Annihilator Pistol. So I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay with an Annihilator Pistol. Other than that, like, subscribe, comment, and share the video, please. And enjoy this footage, and have an awesome day. I don't got no more coming. Ornery, my fury. Yep. 
It's Annihilator Pistol. So there you have it, guys. That's the Annihilator Pistol. And have some fun with it. It is freaking fun to use, considering even at, like, level 30, level 45, whatever level you're on, it'll be a one-shot, one-kill. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.